Are you wasting your time trying to find the perfect product and you want to build a dropshipping store that lasts and grows for years? I'm gonna show you how in this video. Let's go. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna convince you why building a brand store is gonna save you so much time, money, pain, and it's gonna allow you to step back and actually travel with your store and be better for you in the long term. Okay, building a brand on Shopify. I hear a little bit of chatter about this in the e-com space, but most people are still obsessed with the dropshipping model where it's all about arbitrage. The only real value that they provide is they found the product first or they have better ads. I'm going to convince you why there's a much better way to run your dropshipping store. Okay, so I see this all the time and it's very interesting from my perspective because I'm working with a lot of dropshippers and a lot of non-dropshippers all in the e-commerce space. So dropshipping has become much more popular the last few years, but it's been mainly popularized by these guys with Ferraris, stacks of cash, convincing you that you can be an absolute millionaire within a month. They're all selling courses and they're all telling you the exact same thing. A lot of people buy these courses and they just go to Alibaba Express and run some Facebook ads to their product page and call it a day. This isn't all dropshipping stores. There are some fantastic dropshipping stores that I've worked with, one that I own, that are fine. One of the big problems with many dropshipping stores is that they're so easy to copy. You also have thousands of other dropshippers that are sitting there with their spy tools, looking at all the websites and analytics and catching you out if you start scaling a product. This is why you see people jumping from product to product. Yes, you can still make a lot of money and I know many dropshippers that are with this model, but if you build a brand store, you can get this monkey off your back, this paranoia that someone's gonna find your store and steal your product and that's the end. You can still create a dropshipping store that is its own brand and it's much harder to copy. Here's what I advocate and here's what works insanely well. You create a dropshipping store, you don't go to Alibaba for your product, but you find suppliers and build personal relationships with those suppliers. Why? Number one, you can make much more money in the long run. You can run it for years and years rather than just a few months and then burn it out. You will have less competitors because it's much harder for other people to get your products on their store. You will get better prices with your supplier. There'll be less competition chatting with your supplier and driving up your prices. Your customers will also have a much better experience. Your relationship allows you to request better packaging, better response times, order tracking and all that stuff. Okay, but you may be thinking, this is gonna be harder. I'm gonna be working more to get this store set up. And yes, that's right. With regular dropshipping, you might spend a thousand bucks, get your product, get the ads going, and then make some money. But that is a good thing. The harder it is to start your store, the less other people are gonna be able to start the same thing. Think about it this way. When you're building your e-commerce empire, you're building a castle. As soon as you start building something big, like a castle, you're going to start attracting the attention of other people. They think, hmm, there's probably some treasure in that castle. When they come to your castle to steal your treasure, you wanna protect yourself as much as possible. That means building up walls and building a moat around to stop the siege. When you build your business, stop and think, how hard is it to lay siege on this castle? How easy is it for people to just waltz in, pick up your treasure, and then walk out the door? Many businesses leave the front gate right open with a big sign saying, hey, take my treasure, it's right here, you don't have to do anything. And so people just walk in, grab it, and then walk out the door and boom, they're rich. So how can you protect your e-commerce store or any business? Well, people do it legally. They do it through patents, copyrights, trademarks, stuff like that. How can you do this for your dropshipping business in particular? Well, the first one is don't let anyone know what you're actually doing. That's one way you could solve it. This is where the spy tools come in. If there are three different spy tools out there crawling your site, checking Alibaba, and seeing what products you're selling and what price, what profit, then they're telling people exactly where your treasure is and how easy it is to find it. Suddenly, boom, you'll have 20 different armies surrounding your castle and trying to get your treasure. If you're not selling something that's only on Alibaba, you're not gonna have this same problem. The second thing is to get products that no one else can get. And this is much easier than you think. When I'm calling suppliers, often they'll even offer this. It's called distribution rights. That's where you get the rights to sell this product in a certain area, certain country or wherever, and no one else can come in and organize something with that supplier. That works, but it's not always possible. Here's my favorite method. I'm gonna go into it right now. 
One, create a really strong brand. This is my favorite way because it lasts a long time and it makes your e-commerce store incredibly valuable so you can sell it for much more later down the track. Okay, so I wanna tell you something here really quickly. So I have my foot in two different main communities. I have the e-commerce store drop shippers where you have these people with Ferraris and all these courses and all this stuff and people are making a lot of money and it's fantastic. I have a drop shipping store, it's cool. The other foot is in a community of e-commerce store owners that are building a brand and they're making seven to eight figures doing so. There's a massive difference here between the two communities, especially in the amount of money that either is consistently generating. On one side, you have these guys with Ferraris, stacks of cash, and they're selling you these $2,000 courses and they all have the same thing. On the other side, you have these people that are quietly chipping away, building a really strong brand and building up these massive stores. They focus intensely on finding the best products and creating the best customer experience so that they can get thousands and thousands of reviews on their website and build up this massive brand equity. This helps them so much because whenever they spend any dollar on ad spend, their conversion rates are so much higher because anyone hitting their site, as long as they fit the target market, are much more likely to convert when they see the massive social proof and trust that this brand is creating. Running ads on Google, Facebook, Bing, doing any email marketing, and even doing organic reach is like putting gasoline on a fire. It's insane. I love working with these people. They're really passionate about what they're doing with their brand, and it's also so much easier to scale up that store like crazy for a much more profitable CPA, ROAS, and all those amazing metrics. It's amazing how quickly these guys will scale because they're not spending every week, every month, going out and trying to find the new hot product that's gonna work for their store. They build businesses that are sustainable for year after year. There are some brands that I've been working with for three, four years that have started back then and then the brand just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's really up to you. What would you rather be doing with your time? Would you rather be spending every single week and month chasing new products, trying to find new suppliers, or would you rather focus on building a brand that lasts, that you can step away from, build systems and operations and hire the right people so it earns money for you for your pocket while you can live the life that you wanna live. By doing this, you have much more control of your income source and you've really built an asset. You're not just playing arbitrage with the game of dropshipping where you're just trying to find a product for cheaper and then convincing people to buy it. You're actually solving a need, creating a message for those people with your website and building a really strong brand so that you can deliver traffic to that website and you're gonna get a much better return. It's much easier said than done, but please check out my other videos. I go through all the different systems and processes and strategies and marketing that you need to build all parts of this whole beast that you'll be creating. But trust me when I say this, it does get easier once you get those first few sales, it starts picking up, you get those reviews, people start sending videos of them using your product, you get photo reviews, this stuff works and it's crazy when you see it happen. Anyway, that's all for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I really hope to see you in the next video and consider subscribing if you wanna see more tutorials, case studies. We have audit videos as well. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.